Hello. In this edition of Lesser Known and Living Rural Arts, we deal with the strange Irish custom of Puckin, as I believe it's pronounced, but perhaps we leave the pronunciation to Gobnato Lunisia of Ballykilferret, who, you may remember, told us of the interesting arts of slagin and harhuin. Just to refresh your memories, let's listen once again to the Ballykilferret harhuin contest, which was held in a field outside the town earlier this year. Pure poetry. Gabnato Lunse, perhaps you could tell us something about this strange custom of Puckin, as I believe it's called. Well, I suppose I could die. Well, <laughs> well, Puckin like is when you meet a fella like and maybe you go up to him and you'd say like maybe, How you going? And you'd make a ball of your fist like, you know, and, and you give him a little scalp under the ribs, you know. <laughs> well, it's hard to explain it really. Good heavens. And is this not rather painful for the other person? Well, it would be like, but we're used to it, like, you know, like, we'd know, like, what a fellow was going to do, like, if he was going to do it, and you'd tighten up your stomach, like, and, you know. Well, and how do you think this custom started, Governor? Well, I don't know, really, but I know it's been around here a long time, like, you know. You see, this area, as I told you before, made a lot of money, like, out in farming. Well, according to my father, like, the pucken took all the good out of that, like. I don't think I understand you. Took all the good out of? Well, I often heard my father tell the story, like, that Queen Victoria called here, like, when she was over in Ireland, like, because, like, there, there'd been a great tradition of informing, like, in this place, and a lot of money was made over through the years. Well, old Fiacro Lunacy, that had be an uncle, like, my father's, well, he went out to meet Queen Victoria, because he was a big man in Ballykilferrick, like, at that time. And according to my father, anyway, he went up to Queen Victoria and she was there like with all her go boys and he says how ya and he hit her a puck like well whatever way she took it like well she wasn't ready for it anyway and, and she went down on her knees like and well all the wind must have gone out of her or, or something like that you know what a piece of history well that ended the link like w with that crowd and Bally Kilferret like they didn't come here after that and there was a lot of bad feeling about it locally like because well well, they had a meat tea prepared for her, like, in, at the canon's house, and well, she hadn't the manners, like, to turn up, even if she wasn't going to eat it, like. Yes. Well, and um, are there any rules in this strange custom of puck-in? Oh, God, there are, like. Oh, the rules are right. And how do they operate, the rules? Well, it's hard to describe it, really. It's like maybe a fella come up to you in a pub, like, or maybe in the street, and he'd be home from England, like, well... He come up to you and you mightn't be thinking like and he'd say, How ya? Or how's it going? And he hit you a puck like. Well you might feel it all right, like, but you wouldn't be letting on like and you'd say, Okay, Mick or something short like that, you know, so he wouldn't know you were out of wind. Well, he'd go back to England like after the holidays and he'd forget about that, you know, but you wouldn't forget it like and he'd be waiting like to get him next year when he'd be over again, like, you know. Well, he'd be coming down the street the following year, like, and you'll be waiting for him, like, and you'd say, how are you, Mitch? How are you, England? Like, and <laughs> you'd get him a right good one, like, in, in the fatty bit under the rib bone there. <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. Well, maybe you'd put him on his knees, like, but <laughs> he couldn't make a remark on that. Good heavens. Why not? Well, the rules wouldn't allow that, you see. He'd just have to wait his time and come back at you again, like, when, when he get the chance, like. Well, and um, are there formal competitions in Puckin? Oh, no, no, you can wear anything you like. But the competition's all right. And tell us more about these. Well, you never know when it's going to start. Like, you might have no competitions for a long time, like, and then maybe two fellas are starting a pub, like, well, if, if the pucking was any good, like, there'd be nothing more said and everyone would go out, like, and they'll all get into a car and drive out to the field where we have the slagging competitions. Yes. Well, then all the men would get around, like, the two that was pucking, like, and they'd give them dad push towards each other and... Then one of them would say, maybe, how's it going? And he'd get the puck in, like, you know, and the other fellow, like, if he went down, he'd have to keep smiling, like. You see, you lose if you don't keep smiling. You can take the puck, but you must smile all the time, like. Well, maybe the doll start at it, like, then, and they'd be pucking and grinning for all they were worth, you know. <laughs> Fascinating. Gabnato Lunis here. And before we close... Let us listen to an actual recording of this year's finals of the Bally Kilferret Puck-In Competitions. <laughs> <laughs> 